Hi, it's Ron McCracken again. Just want to make a short little video while making a uh, taking a little break in my running. There's downtown Dallas, way off in the distance there. I'm here at White Rock Lake. Uh, anyway, um, I'm a little, little bit discouraged about the podcast and the videos right now. Uh, just as uh, I get in, I get impatient that it doesn't take off as quickly as I hope. But you know, my therapist reminded me and other people too that uh, you know you just keep on going, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, and I I mentioned it before, but I still uh, think about a uh, podcast I saw with Joe Rogan talking to Kyle Kalinske, who hosted a YouTube show called Secular Talk. And they were talking about that when they first started their podcast and they start, first started their videos, how, I don't know, Kyle was saying, oh, he'd look and he'd get excited, like, wow, this got, my video got 100 views now, my video's up to 300 views now. And Joe Rogan was saying the same thing about his podcast, that some, some days he would look at it to see if anyone was listening, because there were so few listeners when he started he was wondering uh you know <laughs> well is, is anyone listening to this thing so i'm kind of feeling that way uh but i wanted to uh use that to address you know when you reach that point where uh you're having a rough day or a rough time and uh you know when you've hit rock bottom with things uh, there's no one secret on how to keep going as I discover every day there's no one secret but uh, I recall uh, reading an interview with uh, Maria Shriver Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife and she was talking about telling Arnold about these problems she was dealing with uh, and uh, some of them involved, you know, just feeling a little depressed and, and things. And she said that she got a real lesson talking to him about it, that he wasn't unsympathetic or anything, but he acknowledged what she was saying and for, he, he listened. And then first thing he said after that was, well, what are you, what are you going to do about it? And she was kind of, said she was kind of, uh, thrown off balance for a minute, like, wow, man, uh, Again, he wasn't unsympathetic. He just, but he honestly asked her, what are you going to do about it? And so that got her in the mode of forming a plan of action. I said, oh, okay, well, here's what I'm going to do about it. Here's, here's what I'm planning. And then they had this discussion about her plans, you know, and moving things forward. That's the important thing, moving things forward. So as far as all that goes with the podcast and the video, what I'm going to do about it is I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep making my videos, uh, keep making my podcast, because I uh, firmly believe that uh, they'll help people at some point. As I've been through, I've been on uh, uh, both sides of the suicidal thing. I've been having been very close to suicide myself many times and also having seen close friends who killed themselves not witness it personally but uh, at least one of them I was the very last person to talk to them uh, so you know in a lot of ways I think I might have a unique perspective on these things uh, but yeah you just pick yourself up uh, you know, again, best example, or one of the one of the best examples I can give is uh, going back to the uh, Boston Marathon bombings, and uh, as usual, a car's coming up. Just as um. A lot of people come out here and just kind of roam around, not really doing anything. But uh, as far as the uh, Boston Marathon bombings, uh, 
it's a reminder that things can be a whole lot worse. It's also a reminder of where I went from that day, where we went from that day collectively, and returning to Boston the following year, uh, returning to Boston the following year, uh, as we're leading up to it, there were um, quite a few people who messaged me, and also uh, people just telling me in person too that they were real nervous about returning and some of them saying they were real nervous about me returning and my response was um, yeah it can be a little scary but we have to do this we have to just move forward and when people express concerns about about possibly a repeat my response was well I don't really care I'm, I'm going there and I'm running and I don't really give a fuck uh, who tries to do what you're not going to stop me. The only way you're going to stop me from running is to kill me. That's the only way. And you have to take that same attitude with anything that means a lot to you. Uh, and I'm getting that same attitude with making the videos and the podcast. Uh, I firmly, again, I firmly believe, and my therapist is 100% behind me that this is going to help other people. Probably most, if not all of them, people I might not ever know about. People I might not ever hear from, I might not ever know about. But somewhere, somehow, maybe it helps them along long enough until they get until they get into real therapy. And into, I should say, effect, I would say effective therapy. Um, so, you know, and as, like Rob Lowe said on that Joe Rogan podcast you can't be stuck and you can't be scared so I have to just have that attitude where I just don't give a fuck I'm gonna keep on making my videos and you know ignore the naysayers that's another thing that Arnold says ignore the naysayers no matter what keep doing your thing so I'll keep making the videos I'll keep making the podcast uh, I welcome any constructive any and all constructive input uh, if someone messages me and asks me to address a certain topic, I'd love to do that. But I'm always looking for topics. So, anyway, we're going to march forward, keep moving forward. Um, Boston Strong. Have a good night.